Hi everyone, this is Aishwarya, 9th class student of Sai Baba High School. I am going to explain the parts of the human eye. The eye is an organ that detects light and sends signals along the optic nerve to the brain. In humans, the eye is a valuable sense organ that uses ability to see. It allows for light perception and vision, including the ability to differentiate between colors and depth. The various parts of the human eye, they are optic nerve, sclera, cornea, iris, pupil, retina, lens, ciliary body, choroid, macula, blind spot, blood vessels, anterior and posterior chambers, lacrimal glands, aqueous humor and vitreous humor. Let us discuss the optic nerve. Optic nerve is located at the back of the eye. It is also called as second cranial nerve. It is the second of several pairs of cranial nerve. The job of the optic nerve is to transfer the visual information from the retina to the vision centers of the brain via electrical impulses. Next one is sclera. Sclera is the white of the eye. Don't shoot until you see with the scleras. Its exterior is smooth and white. Its interior is brown and grooved. It is extremely durable and flexibility adds strength. Its continuous sheath of optic nerve. Tendons attached to it. Next one is cornea. Cornea is the clear bulging surface in front of the eye. It is the main refractive surface of the eye. Primary refractive surface of the eye. Index of refraction is 1.37. Normally transparent and uniformly thick, nearly a vascular. The rich and supply a nerve fibrous nutrition from aqueous humor. The tears maintain oxygen and exchange and water contact. The tears prevent scattering and improve a optical quality. Next one is iris. Iris is the color part of the eye. Its size does not vary. It is a patch of tissue. Its patterns are individual specific. Next part is pupil. Pupil looks like black dot at the center of the iris. The size changes depending upon the brightness. It is a gap of tissue. Next part is retina. The unique characteristic of the eye that it makes it different from other sense organs lies in the ability to take the information from the light waves and they transform into neural signal to the brain. In retina, there are two types of cells are there. They are rods and cones. First one is rods. Rods are the pigment rhodopsin. It helps us to see dark. It has nearly 125 million rods. The fine distinction that you rise to our sensation. Next one is cones. Cones are the pigments iodopsin. It helps us to see in bright light. It has nearly 7 million cones. It is specialized to detect the light waves. Next part is lens. Transparent body or enclosed in a elastic capsule. It is made up of proteins and water. Consists of layer like an onion with the film nucleus soft cortex. Gradient refract index is 1.38 to 1.40. Young person can change the size of the lens via ciliary muscles. At roughly age 50, the lens can no longer change the size. It becomes more yellow with age cataracts. Next, my friend Padmasri will discuss next parts. Hi everyone, this is Padmasri, 9th class student of Sababa High School. Now, I am going to explain the parts of the human eye. Slyry body. Slyry body is the circular structure that is an extension of the iris, the color part of the eye. It also contains the slyry muscles which change the shape of the lens. When your eyes focus near object, this process is called a combination. Next, correct. Blood supplies outer four layer of the retina. Modulation of vascularization. Regulate retinal heat. Assist in control control of intraocular pressure pigment avoid deflection next macula or yellow spot macula is the center area of the retina on surface is the particular interest to the retina specialist remember that the retina is light sensitive tissue which lines are inside of the eye the macula is the functional center of the retina it gives to ability to see the 20 by 20 to provide the best color vision Next, blind spot. The small portion of the visual field of the each eye that correspond to the position of the optic nerve. There is no photoreceptors in the optic disc. There is no image formation on this area. 
Next, blood vessels. The arterial input, the eye is provided by the few branches of ophthalmic artery, which is derived from the internal artery in most mammals. These branches are included in the central retina of artery, the short and long anterior and posterior ciliary arteries. Next, anterior and posterior chamber. Anterior chamber is between the cornea and the iris. The posterior chamber is between the iris and lens. Index of refraction is 1.33. Next, aqueous shimmer. Aqueous shimmer is the transparent water-like fluid similarly but containing the low protein concentration. It is secreted from the ciliary body structure supporting the lens. Next, vitreous shimmer. Fill the shape between lens and retina. Index of refraction is 1.33. Vitreous shimmer also maintain the eye shape. Next, lacrimal glands. The lacrimal glands are paired exogrine glands, one for each eye found in most terrestrial and some marine animals secrete the aqueous layer of the tear films. In humans, lacrimal glands are situated at frontal bone. Thanks for watching the video. Please like this video and subscribe to Sai Baba High School YouTube channel and click on the bell icon for further updates.